everybody, it's Kristen. So I thought I would do kind of a bonus Sunday video today. I wanted to do a get ready with me using some Camp Cosmetics products. I had a lot of you guys requesting that, so I'm bringing that to you today. I was originally going to do it with the color Banshee, but I had so many people kind of request the look that I had on my eyes when I did that review video that I'm going to do that for the most part today. There are a few additional shadows because I have some more Camp Cosmetics shadows now, so I was able to incorporate a few more um, in this eye look for you, but I'll list everything everything down below for you of course um, yeah I think that is it I recorded I already have my face like the base ish done aside from blush really so you're gonna see I'm gonna do that kind of re real quickly with some music and then I'll talk you guys through the eye look Okay, so firstly, I'm going to take a MAC 224, and I'm going to take this, all of the shades, so I won't say it a million times, they're all Camp Cosmetics. This is in the shade Tranquility, and it's a mid-tone matte. I'm just going in with my 224 brush, and I already have primer on my eyes and Pain Relief Paint Pot over the top of that. And I'm just going to kind of lay that into my crease. I, sometimes I do this after, sometimes I do it before. It, it just kind of depends. Um, the crease shade, I mean, my transition shade. So today I'm doing it before. I have this weird wrinkle in my eye today. <laughs> you know, the joys of aging. So there's that. Nothing too exciting there. And then I'm going to take a MAC 220... 239. And I'm going into the color um, Light Year. Just going on the very tip of the brush. I'm going to bring that in the inner corner here. I think I used a combination of fresh in one of the other colors, but I just got this one, so I wanted to play with it a little bit. You can see about how far I'm doing that. I can't tell you guys, if you don't watch my vlog channel, um, I did put up a vlog video, and I'll try to remember to list link below what time. There's just a short little clip of when I was at Camp Cosmetics on Friday. Um, he has this like a studio in downtown Glen Ellen. Um, it's, it's just so cute. And there is a clip of him, you know, working with one of my subscribers, actually. Okay, I'm going to go with Gypsy, which is just the love of my life. Can you believe that? I mean, we know I like colors like this, but 
I like this better than than uh, than the taupe in the line. How about them apples? So then I'm just patting it over and pulling it. Some people like to do dark to light. This is just the way I like to do it. This is how it works with my um, OCD-ness. <laughs> and then I'm going to flip it back over to that lighter side and just pull some of that light into it. I think I'll finish this eye and for the sake of time and then we'll come back. So I'm just actually going to grab um, a different 239 here and use the back side of it. When I'm doing it all at once, I would just go to the light side then and use my dark color, but because I'm just going to do one eye at a time for you guys, this is what I'm doing. So this is Couture, and this is a really pretty, um, and it is a frost, yes. I'm just going to pat that in my outer corner. And I want a kind of a line here, so you'll see I kind of take the brush and go that way so that, not a line, but I'm trying to not have it get out too far, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to take that same 224 brush and just, you know, help my lines blend a little bit. Put a little bit more, I'm going to, every time I zoom in, I pull myself out of frame, so I'm hoping that you guys can see well enough without me zoomed in. Going back to a little bit of that brush with the gypsy, not getting any more gypsy on it, I'm just using the gypsy side and pulling that in. 224 with a little more of tranquility. It doesn't matter to me if I bring my transition shade up too high because I can just, I can mute that down a little bit with whatever color I'm using for highlight. So this is, as you can see, this is really very simple look. And then, so I'm, I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'm going to take the color in Social Light, which is a satin, but the satins are very, um, very matte-like, so I'm okay with using it up here as far as finish. All right, I'm gonna get the other eye up to this point and I'll, I'll stick it in here fast forward for you and then I'll be back. So I've gotten the other one to match. Hope you're enjoying the birds outside. <laughs> and I'm going in with a MAC 217 and I'm just going into um, Conviction, which as you guys know, if you've watched any of my other ones, that is my favorite shade. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up. And this one, it's a matte, which is nice because I've kind of used shimmers or satins up to this point. Um, and you want to kind of vary your textures you don't want, or your finishes, I should say. And so I'm just using kind of little circles, building that up a little bit. And if I get too far out here, it's fine. I'll fix it. No panicking for me or you. <laughs> I'm just kind of building that up a little. And I didn't, I mean, I hardly dipped into that color at all. I was trying to fix that little piece there. And there's a ton of pigmentation as with all of the products we're going to Appleton today so I'm going to go out to Appleton all glammed out <laughs> you know I bought the electric palette Again, for those of you that don't watch my vlog channel, um, and 224, blend, blend, blend. Um, 
I bought the electric palette for a challenge that's been laid down and mine it came one of the colors came um, shattered so I need to take it back because it's a big mess and exchange it and since we need to go to Sam's at the same time we're doing that anyway more information than you probably wanted to know all right so I've just cleaned all that up and I mean why not blend one more time for good measure <laughs> Because I'm a fruitcake. Alright, I'm going to grab my MAC 2, no, 228, yes, 228. And going back into Conviction, tap that off, and bring that down here. Down here, which is otherwise known as my lower lash line. Good gravy game. You can see when I put that um, light ear on my inner corner, I brought that down here as well. I'm in a second... I should have done that first, but in a second I'm going to just wipe this brush off and intensify that a little bit. And we're going to add a little gypsy under here as well, because why not? Do you guys do this? If you use a brush like that, sometimes I use a little tiny brush to kind of blend out. Blend out my corner, you guys are probably like, seriously? So I'm going into Gypsy again, same brush, and I'm just going to kind of go on this inner and then blend it into this a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Same thing on the other eye. Just a little bit, not crazy amounts. Just enough, it just really makes, like for me, it makes that blue pop even more, not just from the top but from the bottom. And again, I'm going to take light ear on the tip of this brush. And I'm actually going to go off of my hand a little bit because it's serious, seriously pigmented. See that? Look how much. <laughs> Gravy, Kristen. And then back into that corner. I love this MAC 228 brush. I think it's one of the best brushes I own. It's so versatile. All right, now I just have my Jordana Espresso Last Teeny Tiniest Liner of Life. You get up in here, and I'm going to line my upper lash line and low and water line. You guys have seen me do this a million times, but again, E21. From Sigma. I've looked. I've. I, I. I cannot find a dupe that works like this one. I've seen a couple that are similar. There is a Tarte one that is um, dual ended and similar. But I can't function it. I can't deal with a dual ended brush. Not the way I store my brushes. Just can't. And I always. I always stop about here and let the smudging bring it in the rest of the way. I find that that makes your liner, my liner on this inner corner, which is a hard place for it to last, it will last longer if I don't put actual pencil there, if I just smudge it from what's up here down into there. Hope that made sense. And line my upper waterline. I gotta tell you, I used to think that the Chanel Stilos, the white ones, were the bomb diggity way back in the day. This stays so much better. This Jordana liner stays so much better in my waterline. That day I might have used a different, I can't honestly remember what I used. I think I used a bronze or something, I don't know. But I'm going to use my Disco Days blush which is this one right here in the middle because that's the one I used that day. I just got some of these other ones and I really want to play but I'm trying to recreate the look for you guys. So, Bobbi Brown blush brush. Oops. Dipping into the wrong blush. <laughs> I tell ya. And I think that day I actually used the Revolution blush on top, but I'm not going to do that today. 
we're just going to enjoy the beauty that is this one all on its own. All right. And I just love how this works. To I put on my blush and then I, no matter what blush it is or whose blush it is, and then I just blend it in with this e.l.f. brush. I just feel like it, because this e.l.f. Kabuki isn't as dense as some other ones, it just blends things in so well. I just can't even. Oh, this blush is so pretty. All right. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the finished look. I just used a little MAC Hue as my base kind of lipstick. It just looks like that. It's just not a lot of much. <laughs> but I want kind of a pretty light base to use this um, Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Katinka. Katinka? K-A-T-I-N-K-A. Katinka? I don't know. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> And I'll show you what that looks like on its own. It's really pretty. It's right there. So that is the lip look that I chose for today. I'll zoom you in and give you a closer look at the eye. There is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you liked seeing some of these products in action. Um, as I've mentioned before, you can only purchase them currently through um, his email, just by emailing him or calling him. He's happy to help you. I guarantee you, you will not get off the phone without laughing at least once because <laughs> he's hysterical. I think that the products are well worth the phone call. So, um, and again, I will have that all linked below for you if you are interested. Again, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.